Reporting from TIFF again, and I just saw We Live in Time, one of my most anticipated movies of the fest for a plethora of reasons, but the main one being the leads. Starring Andrew Garfield and Florence Pugh, this is A24's newest romance movie, and it didn't break me as much as the other recent romance movies, but it's still a huge gut punch. We Live in Time follows a couple that goes through the trials and tribulations of their unconventionally found relationship and how they manage their way through life's toughest battles. Like I mentioned at the top of this video, I think this movie has absolutely perfect leads. I think their performances are absolutely amazing. Not the best of their respective careers, but they do exactly what you expect them to do in this film. They have instant chemistry, which is only built up over the course of the film through the storytelling and the overall premise of how they meet and the way that the story is told. The story is told in a non-linear fashion. There's different stories, two main ones, but different stories over overall that we are focusing on until we kind of build up to the very end of the film and I think this instantly just adds to a lot of depth between our two characters. Andrew Garfield is amazing for reasons Andrew Garfield is always amazing but I will say Florence Pugh as a character is definitely the main one for I'd say I like 60% of this film. I think she has the most to work with. Most of the story catalyst things happen to her specifically whereas Andrew Garfield is more of a reactionary character but I think their performances lend themselves to those things perfectly. But my main talking point for this film is something I say very often, which is if a movie is basic, but it executes those basic ideas perfectly, it really truly does work. And I think this movie is exactly that. It's basic, but it's brilliant. It's a really basic story and just a look into a relationship. I don't think any of the story structures or ideas or plot points or anything new or super exciting, but the fact that we have these two leads here is what makes this movie so great. Great. Let me put it this way. We Live in Time could possibly be the most basic ass Netflix romance movie of all time, if not for Andrew Garfield and Florence Pugh, because I think if you put literally any other person on this earth in these roles, it just doesn't work, completely falls flat. But you have these two performances and you have a fine enough story. You have a solid enough plot point from sequence to sequence. You have solid enough character motivations, character dynamics. It all just comes comes together really seamlessly. But that's also a little bit of my problem with this film because nothing is over the top. Nothing is masterful. Nothing is exciting or exhilarating in a way that kind of pushes this film over the echelon that you need it to be. There's one big argument sequence that the film really boils up to, but that sequence in and of itself, I was a fan of it more than other people I know that saw the film, but I also didn't think it was anything amazing. There's other films that I've seen at this festival itself that have better argument scenes than this. I think there's just one specific line from Florence Pugh that really throws off that whole argument scene, but for the most part, the way that Andrew Garfield absolutely elevates that moment in just one line delivery, absolutely perfect stuff to me. And this movie is rich on its baseline thematic levels. It, again, it doesn't dig for anything too deep, but it is just a very sad, but a little bit of a hopeful romantic kind of tale. It's just a story of life and how that progresses and you have, you have ups and how you have downs and how you have to live with those things and then understanding all of these characters throughout that. And to wrap it up, I think this film has a little bit of technical flair. I don't think the score is anything super notable, but it was something that stood out to me as I was watching the film. The cinematography isn't something super exciting or exhilarating, but it immerses you in a dream-like way, which is what I think this movie was truly going for and why I felt like I connected to this romance so quickly. At the end of the day, I really liked We Live in Time. Yes, it is a super basic premise, but it executes on that premise perfectly. Overall, I'm gonna give We Live in Time a seven out of 10. If you've seen or watched check this movie out, let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.